we want to simplify each expression completely. In simplest form, the expression cannot contain negative exponents. Looking at our first expression, let's simplify inside the parentheses first. Well, 15 over five, or 15 divided by five is equal to three. And then for x to the sixth divided by x to the fourth, notice how the bases are the same. So we can simplify by subtracting the exponents. It's always the exponent of the numerator minus the exponent of the denominator. So we'll have x to the power of six minus four, that's two. And now remember this three has an exponent of one. So now we have powers raised to powers. So we'll multiply the exponents. So here we'd have three to the power of one times negative three, that's negative three. And x to the power of two times negative three, that's negative six. Now we can't leave this with negative exponents, so we'll use this rule here that says a to the negative m is equal to one over a to the positive m. Remember on the left side, you can think of this as a fraction with a denominator of one. So if we move this across the fraction bar, it changes the sign of the exponent. So if we put this over one, if we move both of these down to the denominator, it's gonna change the sign of the exponent. So we'll have a one in the numerator, and the denominator is gonna be three to the power of positive three, and x to the power of positive six. And we can do one more step. We can simplify or evaluate three to the third. That would be three times three times three, which is equal to 27. So we have one over 27, x to the sixth. Looking at our second example, we'll start by simplifying inside the parentheses again. Notice the fraction of three-fifths is not gonna simplify this time. So we have a three in the numerator and a five in the denominator. And then here we have x to the negative two divided by x to the second. Because we have a quotient, we'll be subtracting the exponents. And when we do this, if this was a fraction, it would be over one, so the result is going to be in the numerator. So x to the negative two divided by x to the second would be x to the negative two minus two, that's negative four. Looking at the y's, we have y to the third divided by y to the negative one. That would be y to the power of three minus negative one, which is three plus one, or positive four. Now in its current form, this would be three to the first, and this would be five to the first. We could simplify this x to the negative four, but since we have powers raised to powers, we are gonna have to multiply the exponents, so let's go ahead and do that first. So the numerator is gonna be three to the power of one times negative three, that's three to the negative three. Here we're gonna have x to the power of negative four times negative three, that, that's x to the twelfth. And then we have y to the power of four times negative three, that's y to the negative twelve. The denominator would be five to the power of one times negative three, or five to the negative three. And now to write this with positive exponents, we'll have to move this and this into the denominator and we'll have to move this into the numerator. So in the denominator we'd have three to the third, and the numerator would be five to the third. X to the twelfth stays in the numerator, and y to the negative twelfth in the denominator would be y to the positive twelfth. The last step is to evaluate five to the third and three to the third. Five to the third is 125, and three to the third is equal to 27. Now this is simplified as much as possible. I hope you found this helpful.